a Git repo, continuous integration, continuous delivery, we all agree this is a critical piece of software delivery. Now, my contention is that when I start a new project, because I work with different clients, is that setting up that, that continuous in integration server is, for want of a better word, a ball ache. And I've noticed that since I'm the majority working with AWS accounts, that if you just use the bare bones basic of code commit, a Git repo, hosting, code build, and code pipeline from AWS, you get really far very quickly. In fact, it has some other benefits you just don't even see until you use them. For example, when you set up the pipeline in each account, you essentially are sort of decoupled and uh, and it stresses building from, from source as opposed to um, you know passing built binaries or containers around. I wrote that blog post just to say, please consider just using the whatever you get within an account, right? It doesn't have to be AWS. I mean, if DigitalOcean or Alibaba gave you a CI/CD, it's better than perhaps using GitHub, which would require a lot of trust. And I think it's better than, you know, these very centralized CI/CD servers I see in a lot of organizations that require a team to maintain it, that are like, you know, deploying in dev and staging and production from one place. It's like, it's just a single point of failure and really complex. I, I strongly believe that any system that can accommodate complexity just gets complex. But meanwhile, if you use those sort of bare basic code startups tools that you get with AWS, you kind of have a minimal and pretty functional software delivery pipeline. So I hope you like the video. I hope you like the blog. Please comment below.